So the question I want to uh, talk about today is, is this, is church important? And I think you'll agree with me, that's a pretty good question. You know, as a church, we've been going through a series on Acts 2.42. And so I want to ask that question today, is the church important? Well, one way that we can answer that question is by looking at Jesus and what were Jesus's priorities. And we see that Jesus's priorities were pouring into his disciples. Uh, Jesus did lots of things during his three years of ministry, but scholars estimate around 18 months of those three years, about half of that time, Jesus's primary focus was pouring into his disciples. And those disciples ended up becoming the church. They were the proto-church, if you like. And so what we see from the life of Jesus is, yes, not only is church a big deal, but actually investing his life into them was his primary focus. And so, yeah, the church is kind of a big deal. Then when you look to the person of the Holy Spirit, you ask the question, well, what does the Holy Spirit do and what does he lead people to do when he fills them? And so in Acts chapter 2, we read of the birthday of the church and the Holy Spirit comes and he fills the waiting disciples and, and many get saved and all these amazing things are going on. And, and I don't know about you, but for me, I find that when I'm filled with the Spirit, when I feel really close to him, that's a place that I make decisions that I know are in line with what he wants uh, because I'm so filled with him in that moment. And so the question is, well, what decisions did the early church make when they were filled with the Spirit? Uh, because I would suggest those decisions would be directly in line with what the Holy Spirit wants. And we see those decisions in Acts 2.42. It says there that they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching, to fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. So if I could just mention devoted to fellowship for a moment. They were devoted to fellowship. They were devoted to one another. And that was a decision they made that was core to who they were based on the Holy Spirit moving in their life. And so from the Holy Spirit's perspective, man, the church is really, really important. Uh, really briefly, what does that look like in terms of fellowship? Well, it's interesting in verse 46 of Acts chapter 2, it says that they met together in the temple courts and also in each other's homes. In other words, big gatherings, small gatherings. And so part of our devotion to one another, devotion to fellowship, is the big gatherings, Sundays, and also smaller gatherings, small groups as well. Both are incredibly important. The other thing about the church is the church is the community of the Holy Spirit. You know, when we gather together, we gather together and we are filled by his spirit and man, he moves. And so when God is present by his spirit, transformation happens. You know, I remember one time last year praying for someone and they got healed. And I don't know if I was surprised or if I had faith. I'm not, I don't know exactly what was going on, but I was blown away. Like this person came in with a physical issue. They don't have it anymore. And that's because I prayed or someone else prayed. Nothing special about me. It's the Holy Spirit moving through us. Wow. What's more impressive, I think, than physical healings is long-term character transformation. And the Holy Spirit does that in and through the church. Man, there's so many other things that the church does that are really, really important and illustrate how important the church is. Um, but I thought I'd just mention that one about lasting character transformation. Lord, do it in all of us. Final thing uh, I want to leave you with today, uh, something I'm personally quite challenged by. Um, I'm, I'm quite a task focused person. I love doing things, achieving things. I'm just trying to finish off a mini book at the moment, which I'm going to hopefully publish on Kindle um, sooner rather than later. And I know that the things that we do are important and, and they have value. Uh, but the thing I've been learning about is Jesus called us, the greatest command was to love God with all our heart, mind, soul and strength. And what? And to love our neighbor as ourselves. In other words, Jesus wants us to be relationally rich. He wants, and I've been learning this, to, to, for us to prioritize relationships with other people that actually we invest of ourselves in others. I think that's an illustration of what devotion to fellowship is about, that we as a people would be rich in relationships toward those outside of our church and those within as well. And so is the church important? I think I've answered that question. Heck yes. And so let's, let's be like Jesus and let's live this out and let's see what God will do through us. Amen.